And here is the Writer's Almanac for Tuesday. It's the 15th of March, 2022. 1956, on this day, the musical My Fair Lady opened on Broadway, starring Julie Andrews and Rex Harrison, based on the play Pygmalion by George Bernard Shaw, who had died in 1950, and so he was powerless to prevent Alan J. Lerner and Frederick Lowe from changing his story. George Bernard Shaw was sure that Eliza would have married the young man, Freddie, and not Henry Higgins, but the musical leaves you believing that she would. Go with Henry Higgins, that is. It's the birthday of the biographer Richard Ellman, born in Highland Park, Michigan, 1918, went to Yale, studied literature, started to write his dissertation on William Butler Yeats, and then World War II broke out. He enlisted. He was stationed in London. He took a leave to go visit Dublin. He met the widow of Yeats, Georgie Yeats, And she told him all sorts of stories about her late husband and opened up his study, his bookcase, all his manuscripts, his letters, his journals, which led to Elman's biography, Yeats, The Man and the Masks. It came out in 1948. Eleven years later, he published his biography, James Joyce, which won the National Book Award. Anthony Burgess called it the greatest literary biography of the century. And just before Richard Elman died... He finished his last great biography, Oscar Wilde, in which he wrote, Of all writers, Wilde was perhaps the best company. Always endangered, he laughs at his plight, and on his way to the loss of everything, jollies society for being so much harsher than he is, so much less graceful, so much less attractive. It's the birthday of the botanist Liberty Hyde Bailey, born South Haven, Michigan, 1858, who became the first professor of horticulture at Cornell University and wrote an encyclopedia of cultivated plants, Hortus, still a standard reference in the field. The blues guitarist Lightning Hopkins, born Cedarville, Texas, 1912, played on street corners and clubs and at Carnegie Hall. And the Nigerian novelist and poet Ben Okri, born in Minna, Nigeria, 1959. His novel, The Famished Road, won the Booker Prize in 1991. Ben Okri, who said literature doesn't have a country. Shakespeare is an African writer. The characters of Turgenev are ghetto dwellers. Dickens's characters are Nigerians. Literature may come from a specific place, but it always lives in its own unique kingdom. Here's a poem for today by Ron Paget, entitled Jeopardy. Sometimes when I phoned my mother back in Tulsa, she would say, hold on a minute, Ron, let me turn this thing down, the thing, her TV. And she would look around for the remote and then fumble with its little buttons as an irritation mounted in me and an impatience, and I felt like blurting out, you watch TV too much, and it's too loud, and why don't you go outside? Because I was unable to face my dread of her aging, and my heart made cold toward her by loving her, though not wanting to give up my life and live near her so she could see me every day and not just hear me, which is why she turned the TV down and said, okay, that's better, then sometimes launched into a detailed account of whatever awful show she was watching. Jeopardy, a poem by Ron Paget from his collection How to Be Perfect, published by Coffee House Press, and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.